Take a look at this reaction. Not an empty seat in the House. It's night one here at the Republican National Convention here in Cleveland. And I'll be speaking with some delegates throughout all of the 50 states to hear their thoughts about how to make America great again. What do you and, feel about Donald Trump as being the next and, president of the United States? Well, I think he's so well um, acclimated to the business community. And what he doesn't know about national security, I think he will learn from the people that you know he surrounds himself from. First night of the Republican convention, what were your thoughts? I think it's absolutely excellent. The feeling is, ab is absolutely electric here tonight. What were your thoughts of the first night of this Republican convention? I thought it was very well planned, very well executed. It had a lot of emotional appeal. It's night two at the Republican National Convention here in Cleveland. Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey just delivered his speech. I got to speak with him afterward. Let's hear what he had to say. If you become Attorney General for President Donald Trump, will you prosecute Hillary? Do you expect Donald Trump to win the state of New Jersey? Oh, listen, I think he can make, it new, I think he can make New Jersey competitive, and it's going to be up to him as to how hard he works and how much time and, and effort they spend there. But absolutely, Donald's got a long-time association with the state. He's known very well there, and so um, I think he's got a better chance to win the state than any Republican candidate we've had in recent memory. So um, we'll see how hard he's going to work. We'll see. We're here at Facebook Lounge here at the DNC in Philadelphia, where people are finding out their news right from their cell phones in real time. 89 million Americans are discussing this year's presidential election on Facebook. 89 million. And did you know? People have watched more than 85 years worth of video on Facebook from the 2016 presidential candidates alone since March 2015. Tell me about this, this whole operation. How has Facebook played a part in this year's convention for Democrat and Republican? Sure. It was important for us to have a presence at both conventions just given the volume of conversation on Facebook about the election. Financial scams targeting seniors have become so prevalent that they're now considered the crime of the 21st century. As senior scam crooks rake in a fortune, we expose their favorite tricks and how to avoid them. The Hawks have had quite a ride this season, defeating national powerhouses while being adopted as the favorite underdog. We're here at the State House in Trenton, where New Jersey legislators are putting their foot down to ensure the safety of those on the road. The hope is to restrict what drivers can and cannot do behind the wheel. Many people in New Jersey are becoming Uber drivers as a second source of income. I can become an Uber driver right now if I wanted to. All I would need is a valid driver's license, personal car insurance, a clean record, and a four-door vehicle. One of the main reasons that Facebook has been so successful in our society is because it's free. How eager are we to get another bill in the mail at the end of the month? What happens when Zuckerberg finds another opportunity to make some money off of his users? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Edison, Einstein, Springsteen, and Sinatra, they all have one thing in common. They're all inductees of the New Jersey Hall of Fame. The marathon book tour took place way before the sun came up, with hundreds of diehard Springsteen fans, both young and old, filling the lines beginning at 4 in the morning so they could have their moment standing side by side with their very own Bruce Springsteen. Lines and lines of dedicated fans here since before it was light out. Just take a look. There are so many people. The crowds are filling. People are excited to see Bruce. We're here at the Jersey City Medical Center, and quarter of a million dollars was given to the medical assistant program. Well, what does that mean for New Jersey? It means job creation, keeping Jersey strong. This past holiday season, Cosmina Knitters created and donated infinity scarves for homeless shelters and respite centers throughout Asbury Park and Ocean Grove. And this effort, being led by more than 30 knitters, is now being expanded, encouraging others in New Jersey to join. Hi, this is WJLP's Newsbreak. I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Since the EPA accused Volkswagen of cheating on their emissions tests, Sales have declined throughout North America. Well, it's time for me to play my number. Wish me luck. I'm Kimberly Kravitz.